Happy Tuesday. And you know what? I do not promote. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving. What's oh my gosh. So we've had a whirlwind of a week that I ha we have to tell you about to begin with, right? As I knock over a popcorn style turkey. Hello. Anyway, so what did you do that was fun and different this week? Jasmine, oh, I had an amazing time at Brooke Allen's new show. You can leave it there. It's okay. I'm just going to put it up here. Okay. Caffeinated Conversations. Uh, did you see her? She was on there talking about her 586 Organics, which is absolutely fantastic. you got to check it out. But let's also not forget that you were on there speaking some facts as well about one of the busiest bar nights of the it year. Was, yes. So please be prepared when you go out on Wednesday night if you're going out. Um, you prepare your clothing, you prepare who you're going with, prepare how you're getting home. Literally. Yeah, we want to keep you alive. You said it on the show, um, sorry, I'm trying to turn my volume down on my iPad okay. and I don't have my outer show mm -hmm. on. Okay, there we go. You said it best on the show with Brooke that a lot of our friends, if not all of our friends, always say, give me a call if yep. you need it, I'll be there to pick you up. Let's take advantage of that and yes, let's actually it. take take a good reason to call our friends at 2 o'clock yes, in the morning. Yes, because like I said, an hour of bitching is a lot better. What's that one say? An hour of bitching is a... Well, hi, Mom. It's an hour of bitching is a lot better than come bail me out or Honestly, pay or for my funeral. Literally. Yep. So anyways, we're not going to get into that, but we were excited and we had to tell you that we were on the Brooke Allen Show, uh, Caffeinated Conversations, and um, so check it out. I posted mine and she posted hers and on vice Friday versa. 6. So, um, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Hey, Bill, David. Wow, all these people just popping on being crazy. So, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving tonight. Yes, I'm actually... Thanksgiving, before. because Thursday is Thanksgiving. Can you believe that? Be careful, people. Don't blink. It might be, you know, Christmas. Halloween again. God. Um, I'm going to our Time Warp on okay. Facebook just because that seems a little busier. So, anyways, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving. And as you can see behind me, we put together a little Thanksgiving... Um, Kind of a mini table just to show one place settings and ideas that you can do to use the things around your house as well as um, things from thrift stores, vintage stores, antique stores, um, or just go shopping at mom and dad's house. <laughs> Literally, that's my favorite thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've got some stuff here and we'll talk about that. Do you have any cool facts that you want to mention before we get started? I do actually. I got some pretty cool stuff. Because turkey day is Thursday. Oh, my hair. Look at that. <laughs> Hi, Steve. So I would have a turkey hat on right now, but I have not been able to find it anywhere. Um, Alrighty. I wish I could find it because it has the bit. I just love it. Let's start with the first amazing three Thanksgiving facts. Okay, go ahead. 949 million is an estimated amount that Americans spend every single year on just Thanksgiving. And that could be to travel, to get food, oh, okay. to so decorate, it's everything. everything that involves Thanksgiving. $9 million. $9 million. $900 million. $900 million. So yes. almost, it, oh, wow, almost a billion dollars. Literally. <laughs> mm, better win that lottery. Next, we got $26 million is the amount of property loss caused by residential businesses building fires each year due to Thanksgiving. Well, and I'm going to tell you, because you asked me a question about um, cooking turkeys, um, deep frying turkeys. Yes. Right? So <laughs> she asked me a question about deep frying turkeys, and we all know that that is a very um, dangerous job. Never do it inside your house, because a lot of those statistics Ooh. are yeah, probably... I'm so sorry. A lot of those statistics are probably based off the fact that people deep frying, because if you drop it in... a it, it explodes pretty much. <laughs> I actually it seen a, a crazy video this morning uh, speaking of deep frying a turkey and he was trying to drop it in and the little girl's going, what are we doing? And he's yelling, get back in the house, I'm going to drop it Because it explodes. <laughs> it, it does a big huge fireball and it can burn down your house. So don't do that in your house. And if you are going to do that out and about, then what you want to do is make sure that you're far away from everything and that you have some, um, you know, and then you're outside. That you have a fire department standing by. Because every video I see, they are outside. Oh, yeah, because you'll blow your house up. <laughs> okay, my last one before we get officially mm -hmm. started is, is on average in 2023, for 10 dinners, repeat, that is 10 dinners, it costs an average of $61.17. Last year, it was $64.05, and in 2001, it was $53.31. What is it this year? $61.17. What was it last year? $64.05. So it actually went down $3 this year? They haven't gone shopping in the grocery stores we shop we at. We shop at. And genuinely, I think that this is like a little bit of, like, 
I, I think that that's either like spot on or just think about that. To feed 10 people, it's $70. Each? No. Total. Total. That isn't actually bad because you go out and you have, you go to Burger King for five people and it's a, it's $70. $60. Bucks. No, honestly. <laughs> for four people. So, um, one of the things that I thought was cool was, did you know there was only five women that they believe only five women attended the very first Thanksgiving? That's crazy. Yeah, 50 pilgrims, 90 Indians. Who did all the cooking, them? Well, they did not have turkey. Oh, yes, that's right. So, um, you got to remember, when the very first Thanksgiving happened, we didn't. they couldn't go shopping at a grocery store. They had to either fish or grow the food that they were eating. And, David, that's because our portions are ridiculous, yes. okay? Yes, because we overeat. So, and trip, tryptamine is in Turkey, so you do fall asleep. You do get tired. What is it? Tryptamine. Tryptamine. Yep, tryptamine is what's in Turkey that makes you very tired afterwards. That and the fact that we always overeat. Yes. Dramatically <laughs> overeat. Which I have some more about that later. But, um, no, what they served back then was venison, whatever you hunted for and put on the table. Duck, goose, oysters, lobsters, eel, and fish. Which oh, sounds gee. like a good Thanksgiving dinner sounds for me. Sounds great to me. Sign I love up. eel. I love lobster. Um, I like oysters. I don't know if I've ever had goose or duck. I've had duck. We have duck here. We have duck. Um, venison, it depends on what it is. Fish, as long as it's out of the uh, salt water. I do not like lake fish. Oh, okay. So, that's what I like. So, now that you know what I like, and you can bring me, um, instead of these hard breads. All I need is a big bowl of mashed potatoes mixed together with some corn and gravy. Oh, I'll be good with that, We're too. We're good to go. Or stuffing. I, mean, yeah. I like a lot oh, of stuffing. God. Who yes. likes stuffing? Oh, you know what? I was going to ask a question at the beginning of this. What was the question I was going to ask? Do you remember? Oh, okay. I have a question for you guys, and I'm going to ask you now. And then afterwards, towards the end, I'll bring it back up and see who can answer. Okay? So here's the question. Listen closely. Is everybody listening? Yes. Hello. Um, <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. What does the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb, have to do with how we celebrate Thanksgiving today? Okay, there is a connection. Yes. There is a connection. So if you can tell me, there might be a prize for you. We'll have to just talk about what it is. I did have a fact about stuffing since we're talking about it. Did you know that nine hundred nine? Ninety-six million dollars is spent on just ingredients to make stuffing, that which is it. fine with me because stuffing is one of my favorites. Ninety-six million dollars. <laughs> so remember, before I get into this, what does Mary, the author uh, and writer of *Mary Had a Little Lamb*, have to do with Thanksgiving, the way we celebrate it today? Yes, and I will be checking the comments for that. Because you know. I oh yes, you. I yeah. do know. All right. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about with Thanksgiving dinner. As I knock over everything. <laughs> As you see, there's nothing Christmas up here, right? Because we have Christmas dinner. And that's when you will use... And I know a lot of people do use a lot of their Christmas stuff for Thanksgiving. And I say go for it. If you want to um, combine the two holidays, great. But if you want to separate it... Yep. This is a good way to separate it by maintaining that holiday feel. And... I, those of you who know me and have been in here, I'm not a fan of making something look like it's, uh, like it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Novelty? <sighs> like, not novelty, but I don't like cookie cutter. I don't like something to look like what you think it should look like. Right. I want, I am a big fan of thinking outside of the box. Absolutely. Right? So when you're making your, your table for Thanksgiving, you want to make it as creative as possible, Right. So when you are de doing stuff, you want you don't want to use all the same stuff. Come on, let's let's not be boring, right? So you want to use maybe different place settings for each. Like on this one, and something that is, I mean, you don't have to break out your fine china because you're going to have to wash all these dishes, right? Right. Oh. So um, breaking out your fine china is always good, but just remember, if you have fine china, off the rack. Thank you. Something off the rack. That's exactly what I'm referring to. I don't want something just off the rack. I want something, I want to walk in and see a table that is just like, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at that. So I've got Corral, the butterfly pattern here, um, the, the gold, butterfly gold. Uh, these are good because these are good durable dishes, especially for a kid's table if you have. All different kinds. You could also do the, you know, a set of this and then you do... A set of like um, crazy daisy, maybe crazy daisy, 
or a set of, of nice leaves, stuff like that. So that way you have, you don't have, you have consistency, but you don't have redundancy. Oh, I like that. You have consistency, but you don't have redundancy. And redundancy comes when you have every, you have a place, a table full of, for 12 people and everything's exactly the same, same. for each place. Lame. To me, that's, there's no creativity in that. So by doing that is a great thing to do. Candlesticks. Let's talk about candlesticks. Okay. You put candles in, you have a centerpiece, you put candles in the middle. How about you throw out, you throw in different types of candle holders. Here you have a spindle. Oh wow. I didn't um, notice. A spindle for, uh, uh, spool. Spool. Then you have some um, great. Now something like this is good, and we carry them here. These um, brass candle holders, dual purpose. You can use them for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. Yes. Um, but mismatch your candles as well, because by mismatching your candles and your candle Show up close how cute holders, are. you are giving a visual element to your table that are going to make people go, ooh, what's this and what's that? But this one specifically is just she so bougie. These, I'm right? just obsessed with it. Look how bougie it looks. Isn't that bougie? I wouldn't even want to light it. Isn't that cool? So some of the candle holders here, I'm going to grab oh, you this. Take a As you can see, that, like I said, it's a thread spool that was turned into a... Um, candle holder. Now it's not going to hand, and you can even put a bow on it, a raffia bow, or you know, just tie a. a you can even take a piece of wrapping paper and wrap it around the middle. You could really if you. you wanted to. So there's different things you can do. So by picking up different types of candle holders and putting them on the table, they don't all have to have. Those candles aren't even expensive. Why? What? <laughs> David's like, of course she likes the expensive ones. They're not. <laughs> so you have a candle <laughs> holder like this. Then you have the gold one. And then, as you see, I put out some votive to sit around. That way you have light at different levels. Oh, you got to show me this. Let's switch. Yep. Then you have little votives you could sit around, like, on the center of the, uh, if you wanted to. Like, let's say you're not a fan of taxidermy. You could easily set it on the center of your... Hi, Lisa. The center of your place setting. For a candle and you know what if you are having guests over and you want to give a little something to go home you could pick up have them take home the little votives literally yeah the little votives something I, to that effect i even seen a really cool um tradition that would be really nice for people to start up as well so usually everyone always asks for a to-go plate but no mm -hmm. one ever wants to get give their tupperware away because they're no. worried about and not getting tupperware back. is a good thing to have too so here we actually have a large variety of different types of tupperware mm -hmm. and like store away containers so a good tradition for your family or even you to possibly just start is come here pick up a bunch of different variety of tupperware and then you could give it to them as a gift but they also can have their to-go plate in it as well oh so that's now, a good idea so now you actually. don't have to worry about asking for them for their tupperware back and they get their to-go plate and everyone's happy and they get to keep this exactly see so these are types of thinking that you want to do when you're doing when you're um getting ready to prepare for your Thanksgiving dinner, whether it's a large one or a small one, your kids are always going to need something. Your your parents will always need something to carry something home, and that's great because they'll use it over and over again. Anytime I would ask my mom for leftovers, yep. I would never give her her Tupperware back, so she started putting it in a Ziploc bag. Do you know, I know people who will hunt you down for your Tupperware. My mom. She will drive all the way. Whoa, that was cool. Whoever just did that, can what? you do it again? What was it? A, a big old... The sticker. Big old thumbs up came up on the screen like a bubble. Oh dang! Mm -hmm. Well, don't do it again then. <laughs> no, do it again if you want. That but was cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it just like randomly came up on the screen. So some of the, the the gifts that you can give them so that you're not having to worry about you know it, to go home with, kind of like you would at a wedding or something, would be um the candle holder, the Tupperware, something to that effect. Now, you do see taxidermy ducks on here, and because Thanksgiving... is coming up. The very first Thanksgiving was three days long. Did you know that? Wow. It was three days long, and it was because it was for the harvest, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, these ducks here are a really cute accessory. And for those of you who are squirmish about um, taxidermy, and especially when they're little ducklings like this, please understand that this is not a real duck it is a real duck but it isn't a real duckling it's a real duck it's not a real duckling right i guess i should say so these are called leftovers and how i get these are i order them from a company that 
um, uses uh, that processes ducks for food and down that you use in your in your blankets and your big coats and stuff like that. And because this company is very um, animal rights and animal um, lovers, they insist upon using every single piece of that duck. If we're going to send it for food, if we're, who's laughing at me? I'm laughing at the fact that Lisa and Steve have said hi to each other three times in yeah. the messages. Like, she's like, hey, everyone. He's like, hi, sister. She's like, hi, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> so these are what's left over. That's why they're called the leftovers. So no baby duck was harmed. What do you mean, Steve? What? He said, watch how you use the word leftovers. Why? What do you mean? What do you mean? These are leftovers from what's left over from the duck from being processed. Right. So they're not left over to eat. LOL. If that's what you're meaning. But they look cute on the table with your napkin and your napkin holder because those are always decorative and you should always have those. And the bougie butter dish. Yep. And that is a matching butter dish to, because we all need butter dishes. And I've got to tell you guys, apparently they don't, <laughs> what? Steve said Thanksgiving, duh. Well, I know, but these, so in other words, in terms, use the leftover ducks. Because that's Thanksgiving is when we eat our most leftovers. Why not have a duck leftover? So anyways, look at this. This is a um, uh, Golden Harvest uh, Pyrex. Yep. Golden Harvest Pyrex Butter Dish. We do have a couple more. We have the Golden Harvest Salt and Pepper Shaker. Which this is a perfect set for Thanksgiving. And which is perfect for Thanksgiving, you guys, because the color is ideal. Literally. Yep. Um, what so, the wheat? You took the wheat away? What wheat? You had the wheat Pyrex here? Oh, I did take it away because I put this here. Because as you can see here, we have these little tiny Thanksgiving things that you can stick throughout your your centerpiece. These are and like realistic fruits and vegetables. Those are realistic fruits. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Get it right for her. I dropped her tablet. I didn't break it. Did no, I? no, no, no. Okay. Oh! Oh! We're breaking the table. We're breaking the table. These are great for centerpieces, you guys. These don't use them for food, but these are great for centerpieces. These are great for uh, uh, vegetable bowl, veg vegetables to throw out, fruit to throw out in here. Not throw out, throw in here. <laughs> um, and they have a great uh, look, old world, um, hand done uh, wooden bowl that you could easily put on your table and, and it would tie right in with your Thanksgiving pieces. Wouldn't it though? Oh yes, I love wooden you know. bowls. I'm a sucker for them. I'm doing it carefully because, and then of course your popcorn bowls always work nice. This is a popcorn bowl and I just knocked it over again. That was me. This is a popcorn bowl that I'm using to put the vegetables in as a nice um, centerpiece for your table while your um, guests are milling around. It's also good for your hors d'oeuvres, of course. Then we have... Oh, I can't forget about these. These are next. Go ahead. Yeah, aren't those cool? Because you right? need... Um, well, yeah, they're probably Lucite, Bakelite. They're probably Bakelite, actually. Anyway, so you need a carving set, right? And I don't know about you, but I the carving sets I like, they have to have thick handles. Oh, of course. you're going to do it. So look at these. Look at the thickness of these handles. Look how great that is. So when Some you hold garbage. it, you've got good grippage, right? <laughs> so, and you need that because if you're cutting a turkey, I mean, you need the... No, for It's sure. got the sharpener and then the fork. And what's cool is the fork... Of course it's not going to work. Oh, it goes this way. The fork has the holder. Wow. That you can set on the table. And then your knife goes in like so. Wow. And sits on top of it. Look so that, that way, neither of the blades actually touch, touch the the um, the tablecloth. So it keeps it somewhat clean. That's amazing, honestly. Isn't that cool? Like, it has the holder. One thing that will mm -hmm. always cease to amaze me is the fact that they made everything so much more convenient than, no, we're about convenience now. Where's that now? I, well, or you know the, the multi-use. Yeah, the multi-use. It's crazy. Right? So we have a few different sets. This one is really, really cool because it's... <laughs> Lisa said we're bound to break something tonight. <laughs> uh, she knows me. So if it was me and her, we'd have already broken everything on this table. <laughs> so, um... These, come in and take a look at them. They are a three-piece set for $25, which you cannot beat. I mean, you go to any store and these, I mean, this right here is all you're getting and you're probably getting it for about 40 to $60. Yeah, literally. You know, so, um, oh yeah. So candy dishes, so when, you're, when your guests come over, that's for holder. a napkin holder, yeah. yeah. You can put this on for a napkin holder. Take a look at that. They're all turkey related. Isn't that fantastic? We'll set you right there. 
until you fall off and break. This is a candy dish. You can see it here. It is seal. We tape our stuff shut because, although I am going to open it for you to show you. See, it's a candy dish. You can sit out, have little candies in it for people when they come over. What do you have there? Cookbooks? Yeah, I pulled out some ones that I thought were would be really cool to pertain mm -hmm. to Thanksgiving. Walker's Easy Bread. So if you want to make your own bread, we have the... The cool... Um, Which, that's really popular right now, yeah. so I, I would definitely be interested in like even looking at that book, just because making your own bread's really popular and trendy right now. Look, they even have him in a chef's hat. Do you oh, remember well. when I used to wear a chef's hat until we sold it? This one I pulled out personally for myself, because I'm a vegetarian. If you got yes. a vegetarian in your family and you're struggling with a little bit what to do for them mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving, bada boom. Vegetarian handbooks. So, um, you know, a, a lot of people... They worry about Thanksgiving, and I'm glad we're talking about this. They worry about Thanksgiving because they are um, they have eating allergies or they're a vegetarian or a vegan. What do you do for Thanksgiving for a vegetarian? Well, for the first week before Thanksgiving, my parents call me in a panic because they're like, well, what do you want to eat for Thanksgiving? <laughs> and, and it happens every year without a doubt. Mm -hmm. um, so my dad usually always makes me salmon, which is cool with me. Right. Um, but I'm just there for the macaroni and cheese. Like, I could literally eat just a big bowl of that uh -huh. and be fine. But every year, David and I try to, like, like, switch it up a little bit and, like, we'll cook something together that's vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Or recently, within the last two years, they dropped the vegan turkey which is honestly really cool because you get it all and you cook it just like you would a normal turkey. What's it made out of? Um, soy, cheese, and wheat. Oh. So on, it's unfortunately so not gluten free. Pizza. Exactly. Yeah. So they have like shepherd's pie in here. They have nut meat savory, which is interesting since it's a vegetarian, but they use a lot of onions, a lot of different uh, roots and stuff. So, you know, there you can have a great Thanksgiving and be a vegetarian or a vegan and still sit down at the table and eat with everybody else as long as, you know. This one's for General, General Electric. Cook with pride. I love that. General Electric tells you about, um, about the, how to use the stove correctly when cooking. That's interesting. I love the fact But if that your I power goes out, purpose. what are you going to cook in? If your power goes out and you have a fireplace, what type of, of cookware are you going to cook in? Jasmine? If you... Cast iron? Yes, there you go. Sorry, it took me a second. No, nope. I just okay. wanted to see who knew. This is the last one, which I pulled this one out, and I knew I pulled it out for a reason. I found this in it. Okay. Okay, and this... Oh, it's got the turkey on the front. Look and... at that. It's tap-in microwave oven, so when you want, it, when you want to not make a, a full dinner in a... Um, in a oven, apparently you can make it in a microwave oven. But today we have air fryers, so you can make it in that. And in this, I found an ABC appliance warehouse warranty for a new stove. Oh, did you? Tell so me she, about it. So she literally got a new, or they got a new stove. Um, yeah, here's the certificate of ownership. Oh my God. Okay. So, oh no, I'm sorry. It was for a washing machine. And she got, she did six months cash and the total of everything was 600 bucks. It was for a washing machine. It, it, it was 318 for the washer, 10 dollars oh. tax, 328. And then for the um she probably bought both. 1980. 320 1980. I this love is, it when you find stuff like this inside books. This is 78. Oh, Nine, so oh, there's 19, two different ones. This is 1978. Okay, so there's two different ones. Somebody kept Not only did they use this, they apparently used it for um but this says oh that the ABC warehouse was located on East 10 Mile and Centerline. Yeah, there probably was one there. Look at this warranty. Yeah. $60 Can you guys see that? value. Let me show you. Look at this old school warranty. 1978, I was seven years old. Look at this. I was negative like 25. <laughs> yeah, you were. Isn't that the coolest? I love stuff like that. So, you know, we did that. I did that. I did a little pop up Christmas paper show. And I couldn't believe it because the next day I thought people were going to have a heart attack. They were coiling in for it. <laughs> Paper of all things. And like this one's cool because it's mostly got a lot of like big, big larger stuff for like Thanksgiving and right. Christmas and all that good stuff in here. And you know, for the arrangement and stuff, if you want to do something on your table that is, um, 
you know, that's cute and stuff. Do something high so that you can see each other or something really low so that you can see each other. Don't make the mistake of making an, a centerpiece that's absolutely gorgeous and you sit down and you cannot see anyone around you. And you're doing you. this. Hi, can you pass the mashed right. potatoes, please? So if you do if you do make something that, that's, fabul that's fabulous and large, which I have done before, um, you're going to have to move it from the table. Well, you're going to have to move it from the table to put the food down anyways. But something like this is in a... Vintage vase, brown vase, with some peacock feathers and just one little flower down low. Flower. Yep, because you don't need a big, huge arrangement on your table. All it's going to do is make a mess. And then over here we have nutcrackers because you can't have Thanksgiving without nutcrackers. Is this just a display or does That's it do something? Oh, okay, gotcha. Including these fun little face nutcrackers where you put the nut in and then you you his chin goes up and down. And he yeah. cracks the nut, and then you can eat it. Isn't that fantastic? I love that. So there's not a lot of money involved when it comes to setting up your table, because I bet you you have everything you need. If not, pop into to Time Warp or stores like ours and take a look. Instead of going and buying something brand new that's going to end up in the trash eventually Smashed. because it's going to break, Come into stores like this and see what they have because it, it really works. We've got the old school. This one is made in Japan. These are the table decorations, the male and female in each, you can see. And these you would just, they're giant size. It says, top job. When you buy one giant size, top job, no assembly required, you get the other one for free. So there's two in there. But anyways, um, these are cool to set on your table, but you will have to remove them. You know what? These would be good for the kids' table. Absolutely. The kids' table. David, I don't think we'd ever use a nutcracker. We don't eat anything that has a, a shell on it. No? You don't eat any type of nuts? No, but he just seen the one that you pulled up and was like, that one's cool. You oh, the buy face? It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the face. we got all sorts of nutcrackers. Um, Look, at, there's from, the lady one. St yeah, there's the lady right there. <laughs> there's the men and lady. So um, she's cracking up because... We do have the lady, too. <laughs> Look at her eyes. She's like, oh, my God, I got to do this again. Literally. <laughs> she's like, she's choking. <laughs> and then we have, you know, cool mid-century ones that you can just do single nuts in and stuff. Um, Can't okay. forget about the deviled egg plate. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I wish I had some eggs. You know, we've been finding Easter eggs everywhere around here. And the day I want them. Can't find them anywhere. And then, of course, you know, up here, this is the same thing. I don't want to really open it because I don't want to. Well, I'll show you. It's one of oh, these yeah, I'll just take this out. that you can set around. Look. Great for the tip. Yep. Great for the kids' table. Great to just have around in the house. Um, and they these are gr good. Tell me your turkey fact. Which one? Didn't you tell me that the it's called a goblet? Gobbler? The thing that hangs over their face? Oh, yeah, that was an old fact. Wasn't it? Yeah, but, and it hadn't, and it wasn't even anywhere near close to Thanksgiving. But you, I came. There in is and something I have to figure out what it was, and I can't remember what it was. Now. I literally came in, and David or Jason's like, "You want to hear this turkey fact?" And I was like, "Sure." <laughs> and I knew it then, but I don't know it now. So check these out. Now I showed this in our paper show. These have the the flocking. These are the old school flocking, and they are they're really cool because and this one opens up. It's a card. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving day. Cute. But it can set out. But these are flocked cards. Giving somebody one of those would really tell if they've thrown out your cards or not. Right, you pull I know. up the next thing to me, like, where's my card at? And right. You know it's a, a centerpiece. But I don't know if you can tell that that's a flocked or that's not a flat paper. Isn't that cool? Instagram's popping. Ahead of their time, huh? Yeah. And then what else do we have here? We have some larger cards. And don't discount your cards that you have at home. Because use them as decoration, you guys. This is half of this stuff is stuff from people who probably aren't around anymore. So you, you know the larger ones. Oh yeah. And then of course we have all the different stickers and stuff that you can put out and around. So there's all sorts of it. I mean, Thanksgiving is Thursday, so you probably have a lot of your stuff, but your last minute stuff pop in. I've got some more facts. Yeah, top. The average amount of the average amount of weight a person gains every Thanksgiving is between one to two pounds. Um, oh, I could have grabbed it for oh, you. Okay. Three in ten adults live within an hour or more of all oh. of their extended family, which I felt like you would like to know that fact. Yep. Um, only fifty percent of the turkeys sold in the U.S. are consumed in one day. 
which oh. means people have lots of leftovers. Oh, I do have a tidbit about turkeys. You do know that. Before we get there, you do know that they do not actually slaughter turkeys. Turkeys, turkeys, unfortunately, do not understand when to stop drinking. Oh, LOL. And yeah. so, therefore, what they do is they line up the, the watering holes for the turkeys and they let them all, because they're controlled normally on how much they can drink. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Ashley. And everybody that's popping on right now. Yes, hello. So excited to see your guys' names pop up right now. Do you know them? Yes. Like personally? Yes. Oh, cool. Thank you, Ashley. My scarf, I literally just got it from here like yep. five hours ago. <laughs> So when, when it comes to turkeys, and a lot of people are, think that they slaughter turkeys for Thanksgiving, when they don't really slaughter turkeys for Thanksgiving, most turkey farms allow them to um, drink. Drown themselves? Yes. <laughs> so they drink un, um, unwatched, and they end up dry, drowning themselves, and then they go and pick them up. Because unfortunately, turkeys do not have, they have very tiny brains, and they do not have enough sense to stop and to breathe. And pull themselves up. Yeah. Love that for us, huh? Yeah. The average American puts their tree up four and a half weeks before Christmas. Mine's uh, already up and has been up for a week. <laughs> yours is up year round. Yes, it is. Okay, Very so I, we've got a lot of new people on right now. So um, I want to tell you guys, uh, I asked at the beginning. I'm going to ask again now. What does Mary Had a Little Lamb, the nursery rhyme? The author of Mary Had a Little Lamb, Sarah ha Hale. What does Mary Had a Little Lamb and the author have to do with how we celebrate Thanksgiving today? Come on, you guys have 30 minutes to figure out this answer. I'm, I'm looking for your answer like my life is dependent on it. So what, so, did, what did the author, one more time, because I see the some author, comments on uh, here. I just lost her name. Who did I say? The Sarah. Yes, yeah, Sarah. Sarah Hale. So there's just three names, but I don't remember the middle. The author of Mary Had a Little Lamb, what is the connection between her and Thanksgiving. Oh, we got to count on Josephina it. Hale. She made it popular to eat turkey. Good guess, but no. Sorry, David. You're wrong. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you guys a clue, and then let's see if you guys know. Okay, the clue is Abraham Lincoln. <clears throat> That's your clue, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham that is your clue. Lincoln. So, Sarah Josephina Hale wrote Mary Had a Little Lamb, mm -hmm. and she had something major to do with how we celebrate Thanksgiving today. And Abraham Lincoln is your clue, and so what, what you guys do with that clue. information is what yep. you will. So, um, it's pretty cool, because, and did you know that there are four towns in the in the United States that are named Turkey? David, I live you're in, just saying anything. What's he say? She liked to play with Lincoln Logs. Okay, I don't think Lincoln Logs were around back with Lincoln. <laughs> Hence the word Lincoln Logs. <laughs> but good guess. I love it. Keep trying. So in Arizona, Texas, Louisiana, and North Carolina, there's actually towns named Turkey. Oh, wow. That's so you live it. in Turkey, Texas. Turkey, North Carolina. Um, look at, check out some of these. Oh, and then some, I've also got like the wood candles, which are really cool that you can put on the table. You need different visual effects. Of course. Stuff like that. And then I have actual... Candles of turkeys. <laughs> now what is he saying? Shalisa said she asked for it to be declared a national holiday. Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like that Steve wow. Steve's comments at Lincoln Logs question mark. Oh, so Lisa, did you look it up? You must have looked it up. <laughs> what if she just knew it? What if she knew it? I hope you did. So <laughs> back in when Lincoln was president, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, um, Sarah uh, Josephina Hale wrote... Mary had a little lamb, right? Became famous for the nursery rhyme. And she was good. Her family, her wife, her husband and, and kids were good friends with Abraham Lincoln, Mary Todd, and them. And one day at dinner, she looked at him and said, I think it should be a national holiday since it's when, you know. Hmm, right. And so he decided to make it a national holiday. And he said, okay, your wish is my command. I love that, Ooh. Lisa. Oh, Yay! But the other cool fun fact and was Since you're my that... sister-in-law, you get nothing. I'm kidding. <laughs> I am so kidding. Um, I don't want you to forget to tell them, too, that that discussion was happening in October. In October 3rd. So they October were thinking 3rd. of making it a holiday in October, but they were like, no, 
No, we're yep. going to push it back a little bit, make it a little bit closer to the end of the year. Yeah. And hence, which is why Thanksgiving is in November. Yeah. And plus you had Halloween and they wanted it after because... She said Chuck is next to her. He knew it. I thought so. So you did look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. Actually, he gets the prize, not you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... That's awesome. I, I'm glad somebody got it. Yeah, because it blew it. my mind. And honestly, thanks for actually commenting and us receiving a right answer. Because usually people comment and then it's wrong and then they give up and we don't get it. And we don't comments. get the right answer. So right. tell Chuck I said thank you and um, you guys get a gift. So um, you're getting gifts from us anyways. So um, what else do I have here? And then I just have different things that you can set on the table that are pretty cool. Like this right here, which is just a... Uh, really good nothing just sits there for decoration you can set that on the table you can put it inside of an arrangement you could do anything with it did you know that cranberries are the most forget forgotten item forgotten forgotten item on Thanksgiving <laughs> doesn't surprise me since cranberries were not part of the original uh, Thanksgiving feast and also 80 million pounds of it are purchased within the United States every year yes you know I, we watched a, a thing on how those things are made and do you know that if you want to work in cranberries, you have to, to like, wade in them? Like, up to your waist in and cranberries? you want to hear some other really mm -hmm. scary fact about this? And if you don't believe me, 100% Google it. Oh, I believe you. People who work within a cranberry bog have to deal with cranberry bog spiders. Oh, and I didn't know they had that. They're very scary, and they look like underwater hairy crabs that are spiders that literally live on the top of the cranberries, which are floating on water. And then, obviously, they move when right. they come in contact with water. You've never seen a banana crab, have you? Or mm -hmm. coconut crab. No, absolutely okay. not. That sounds so, terrifying. So, um, there is nothing more terrifying than a coconut crab. Jeez. They're like this big, and they fall out of the trees, and they run sideways. Oh, my God, ew. <laughs> Mom, you remember those in Hawaii. Oh, they're in Hawaii. Okay, thank Jesus. Well, they're worth coconut crab. Coconut. Oh, oh wow, well, for the first time in forever, my mom caught us live. Hello, mother. So, I don't know about you, but deviled eggs are a... Staple. Staple. Actually, they should be a staple in my life daily. But they're the especially what Steve just the comments are going crazy today. I love Steve it. Steve said, "How uh, how do they look in a bottle?" What? I'm assuming probably one of the crabs. Oh, the, the oh the cranberry crabs. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, if you guys ever see a coconut crab, you'll run screaming. And you know what? They're not. They don't even hurt you. They have no real. I mean, they can bite you, but yeah, but they're still ugly. Scary. They're huge and ugly. So. <laughs> We have some really cool deviled eggs. Bring it closer. Show, show, no, bring it to them. Okay. Show them the mushrooms. So this is a mushroom. Yeah. Um, a mushroom. Let's see. Let's show it over here. It's mushroom. Very nice. And it is, I believe, homemade. 1979. Look at that. I was eight years old. Beautiful craftsmanship. Why is everything 1979 today? Anyways, deviled eggs. And I love this. Yeah. I love this. Like, come on, you're taking too long. Grab, grab one, not seven. Oh, sh no, this is for me to carry them all in to sit down and eat. <laughs> what are you talking about? Haven't you seen my belly? Come on. <laughs> this is the best. Ashley, and see, these are great. But then you know what you do? If you don't like deviled eggs, then you do stuffed mushrooms. Oh, And you put great. stuffed mushrooms on them if you like stuffed mushrooms. Or you can even use it for tarts. Or yes, you quiche, could. if you make quiche. You could use them for anything, really. I like the. Now I want fried mushrooms. Ooh, yum. I'm just a sucker for anything mushroom. It's great. So those work really well, and the Mary Mushroom does, of course. Can you grab the salt and pepper shakers of the Mary Mushroom? Oh, Good. yeah. And then, of course, I have the little salt and pepper shakers of the. Um, I'm pulling these the, out. Too uh, the, the what? I'm pulling these out too because they're the best. Okay. Of uh, the. Um, I can't think of their names. Oh, the, the Pilgrims. The Pilgrim uh, salt and pepper shakers, those are cute. Even if you don't use them, just sit them on your counter. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna come around for this one. I like that it has a handle too. That's what gets me, is the fact that it, you can pick it up with a finger and walk in with it. Did you hear that phone? Uh -huh. What was that? Okay, so these I'm literally obsessed with, and I've only seen them once before on Instagram, and they were strawberries instead of owls. I wish we've had. But the Turn reason why around. I'm so... Oh, they keep spinning. See, when I, they have faces oh, on both sides. Weird. Oh, they do. Okay. <laughs> so I, I'm obsessed with these because they're salt and pepper shakers, but look at... Oh, 
Look at how cute. You just Are they cute? I love sprinkle, them. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. And then look at you don't even got to lose them. And they have Damn. that green 70s like Coke bottle thick glass. Like, look at how cute. I'm just, like, literally obsessed with these. These would be good for Christmas even because they're green. But they're also good for Thanksgiving because they're owls and they're green. For that cake. Oh, for that apple pie, even though it's a cake carrier. Or if you want to do a spice cake for Thanksgiving. Something like this, the vintage cake carrier. I love it, love it. It has, um, it is in perfect condition. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's got the locking mechanism where you turn it. Look at the inside. Clean as can be. Nice. I got. I mean, these are great for, you know, and you don't have to just do cakes in this. If you have a, a, a casserole bowl. Yeah. Just set it in there. Let's but see, you forgot the it is, This one, because it is older, is a little bit thinner plastic. So I would use something a little bit thicker, like maybe one of the Tupperware ones that we have. Like Mylar plastic. Yeah, that's what this is. This is a 1950s. I love that design. Look at that design. Yeah, you don't see beautiful. this that often. And the only thing is, is you have to carry it this way. It doesn't have a handle. But it is quite the conversation piece. Honestly, I would have to say that that style, I would prefer it over the... Handle. Yeah, because that's the first thing everybody loses. Oh, it is. Is the handle. Yes, it is. So, those of you who know Mary Mushroom, those are great for Thanksgiving as well because they have the mushroom look. Isn't that fantastic? And I, we all know, well, most of us know Mary Mushrooms from the 70s and from Sears because they had the Mary Mushroom line. They had Neil the Frog line. They had all these different lines, and um, which is a sad that they couldn't maintain their online look. I know. Look at that. I'm obsessed. The oil and vinegar. Yeah, it's perfect for the table. For This is perfect for when you're having salad at, at um, Thanksgiving. You got your oil and vinegar containers in the mushroom pattern. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? which is great for uh, Thanksgiving because it's got the right colors, the mushrooms, spoon rest, the anybody? spoon rest in the back. Look at this. You could do owls, mushrooms, have it very wilderness, have it very... Um, uh, uh, woodland. Woodland, inspired. yes. And something like this. You see, this is a good little decoration with the duck. And what I did is behind the duck, I just did some coral. And I just put it behind the duck. Stuck the duck in there, and this is a great little centerpiece. I'm also obsessed with this guy because you can tell he's made from repurposed owl. Oh, he has repurposed real owl, you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. So she's obsessed with him. He could just sit about, sit around, and people will kind of look at him like, what is that thing looking at? What's Lisa talk what were you just talking about? Um, Lisa said that she has a new one. She needs a vintage one. Hers is crap. What was I just talking about? <laughs> Isn't that awful? What the hell was I just talking about, Lisa? Oh, my goodness. The 80s were good to me. All right. I don't remember what I was talking about. I was talking about this. I was talking so about... Sorry. What the hell did I have? Anyways. Do I even need to tell you what this is? Honestly. I mean, all you have to do is hold this up and say, oh, it must be Thanksgiving. These are great. Because then afterwards, or before you serve your turkey on it, you could eat. Oh, you need a new cake holder? What do you need? You need the, um, do you want like something like this? Or do you want one that you can carry, like the Tupperware ones? You know what? I'll send you some pictures, Lisa, and we'll, we'll send one to you. So um, these are really great to display in your house for Thanksgiving. And then when you need it, you grab it and you put the turkey on it. It's also great for rolls, cookies. Yes, if you don't want, if you don't, if your turkey's too big or too small, you know, we were watching funny home videos and I have to tell you, we were watching funny home videos and one of the jokes they did, which I haven't seen in a long time, is um, they put a Cornish hen inside the turkey and told her it was Oh my God, that, those people probably were so devastated. <laughs> they put little Cornish hens. They would pull everything out and put little Cornish hens in. <laughs> and then after they cooked it, they would have one of the, like, one of the kids or somebody come in and, and help them get it prepared and go, wait, what is this? And they'll pull out the Cornish hen and tell them that it was pregnant. It was pregnant? Oh my goodness. <laughs> On America's Funniest Home Videos, there was a video of a gentleman who looks just like my dad answering a phone call of his 24 year old daughter mm -hmm. and she's like dad can i put the turkey in the microwave and he's like to defrost it and she's like but i can't like cook it in the microwave and so the three minute video is him just telling to his daughter no you cannot cook a 25 pound turkey in the microwave and then the end of the discussion was him just saying screw it we're just gonna deep fry it 
hopefully he didn't burn his house. And down. it was one of the funniest. I'll have to send it to you so you can see. So, watch it later. Um, it's great. So you have to watch it because we watch these memes all the time. I mean, everybody <laughs> does. But this is another good one to have because after you're done, it can easily be placed up for. What's um, the sticker on the back? It says social supper trays. Oh, oh nice. this was one of the so. This is from like a social gathering. Oh, nice. They would put it on here, but look how big that thing is. So if you have a big family, this would be great for bread. Perfect. You know, or this would be great for, you know, for the turkey or for if you're having a ham. Or like mashed potato and gravy, you can put them both on there and slide it or give it to people so they have them both or... If I put mashed potatoes and gravy on this plate... I'm eating it all. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'll peel all the chicken and eat the chicken too. I'll eat the skin. Did you know that the best day to travel for Thanksgiving is actually Monday the 22nd because only 12% of the airport is filled? Hmm, I would never. You know, I, I always want to go out to Las Vegas and, and be with my mom during Thanksgiving. I was actually going to ask you that. I, I haven't because A, I own a retail store and I have to be here. B, traveling during this time is not only ridiculously expensive, but it we would it would take us all day to get a four hour flight. Yeah, literally. You know what I mean? If we even make it. So we just were there mm -hmm. and you know, afterwards would probably be good. So we went into the same problem at Christmas. So you're after, so you're a part of the fifty three point sixty three percent that are staying home. That are staying home. Yeah, we stay home. Um so how cool, huh? There's different ways of doing your table. You don't have to do a cookie cutter and you don't have to use like go out to um, Macy's and buy all the top end stuff. You can easily come to you know Time Warp and take a look at what we have, and I'll walk you through different things that you might need. So will Jasmine. Steve will even do that while you're here. Oh, usually he he'll just say, Jason, he needs help decorating. <laughs> Ashley, what age is that? I want to know. What is it? Because I have one right now. So does that mean I'm old? What is it? She said you get to an age where you a huge serving platter is just a staple in your kitchen. And That's I, probably 25, and I then was, it goes on. I was going to say, because mine literally is underneath my coffee pot. Everybody should have a huge serving platter, because sometimes you are you may not use it for the meat. Of course, And you yeah. have a party, you could do crackers, you know, all along that serving tray and allow people to eat. And she said 30 plus, yes, you're old. <laughs> yeah, well, she's a lot older than that in her mind. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so, um... All different kinds, and you don't have to use standard, um, standard, like I did. Those are bananas? They're bananas. That's cute. Aren't they? So these are bananas because I couldn't find my other ones quick enough. But anything that has a hole in it, you could easily use this one. We totally didn't show them this crazy plate. I know, the tray is cool. Oh, it's, it's a lot lighter than yep. I thought it was going to be. So just little trays that have the, the fall colors work great for Thanksgiving. And t if you want to tie in Christmas, you've got different Christmas things that you can tie in that would match color-wise. Do you know what I mean? You could easily make something very Christmas-oriented. You can hang it right up here. here. Give me this one. Christmas-oriented by Cute. just putting the, a smaller one on it. You know, and adding a little drop to it. And then this, you just take this from your Thanksgiving table, add a little ornament to it, and it becomes Love that. for your Christmas table. Right? So a lot of what you do for Thanksgiving, you can mimic for Christmas. Just change out the brown with the Christmas colors. And therefore, you don't have to spend a ton of money getting all new stuff for Christmas. Because if you're going to have a family dinner at Christmas and at Thanksgiving, you want them slightly different. Exactly. You do. You want them different because you don't want monotony. You want to show them you're classy. Yep. Civilized. Yep. People. Yep. <laughs> like David looked at me this year and he was like are you going to put the because I got a new Halloween rug that says shoes uh -huh. off witches and he's like are you going to put that away and are you going to leave it out for Christmas Yeah. and I was like well I think witches celebrate Christmas so. they do did you see our tree back there yeah, and ironically Christmas is a pagan holiday it is I know so anyways cookies you can serve the, your Christmas cookies at Thanksgiving and at um, your pumpkin at pie Christmas, pumpkin pie and again, you've got your cake carriers. We do carry pie carriers as well. But there's no reason why you can't put a pie in a cake carrier if that's all you have. Yeah, exactly. It's to protect it anyway. And I'm going to tell you, if you are going to put out fake um, fruit and vegetables, please 
allow everybody to know that they're fake, because I have been to many a gathering where somebody who is elderly or somebody who has bad eyesight actually bite into the fake. So don't mix them. It's not a good, good like, Look thing. how realistic this carrot looks, honestly. Like, it's got the greens on the top and everything. And so, do you have baskets in your house, like in the basement? All over the where place. Where you look at baskets and you're like, why did I get that basket? All the time. Right? Everywhere. So we all have baskets in our basement, right? And they could be that are brown. Not Easter baskets that are pink and blue. But <laughs> baskets that are brown. We have them floating around everywhere, right? Um, utilize them because that Thanksgiving is the one time you can utilize all the baskets in your house because it's called a cornucopia. Yes, and you just fill them full of of, of gourds, of, of little things. pumpkins, of little stuff like that, and set them around your house. And now all of that baskets you keep looking at downstairs, going, I need to get rid of these. They're being utilized. And also, like too, like the whole point of a cornucopia back then, the original thought process was to fill it with things that you wanted an abundance of, which means food, warmth, which is why the back usually had a scarf or some yep. type of blanket, and the front was filled with fruits and vegetables and pumpkins mm. and squash. Harvest. When harvest happens, it's all about comfort food. It's all about... Exactly, Ashley. And we have an array, a large array of towels and kitchenette mm -hmm. sets that would be perfect for something like this. that. Right here. You take this and you take... All I have right here are Christmas, but... Put in your mind that this is a, a, a Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving one and just throw it in. Throw it in and make it all nice. You might need to use two of them. And then you put your all your bread, all your bread in there and it makes, and you set it out for people to have. It would also be really cute for you to just put a towel in the bottom of it or maybe some type of scarf. Yep. And use it for keys. Oh, wallet, absolutely. Maybe. This is a big, this is a big footprint for that. Yeah. But you could use it. Becomes a catch-all like a drawer. Exactly. Right? Well, I mean, if you have a large family too, lots and lots of keys. So crazy. I love it. There's all many, so many different ideas. You don't need to stress out about Thanksgiving. You don't need to stress out. This goes over there on the chair. You don't need to stress out about Thanksgiving. You don't need to stress out about Christmas when you're having guests over because it is very simple to make a elegant, beautiful table using everything you have mm -hmm. or coming into Time Warp or different vintage and antique stores and picking up the few little things that you need. Um, like I said, come on in and we will walk you through different things. Like there should be no reason why every year you feel like it's necessary to buy a, to buy a $60 serving tray when you could come no. here and get one that's durable and that's that, affordable. that you can use year after year after, after year, year after year. Exactly. So what's happening this Saturday? What is happening Saturday? Small business Saturday. Oh geez. Yes. Our crazy, amazing sale, which is one of our busiest days of the year. And you can get a lot of this stuff. But Are we doing it how we do every year where they come in and pick your own yeah. percentage? Oh, okay, cool. So what it is is we have an annual. We've been doing this now for five years, so it's our fifth annual. Pick your own percentage sale. And um, what that is is when you come in on, on Saturday, one of us, somebody up here, will have a, um, a cool container, a box, a hat, or something. And there'll be different amounts inside of those percentages off from anywhere from our standard 20% mm -hmm. all the way up to 40%. Now, that could be for one item or for the entire purchase. But you're forgetting the coolest part. That there could be $10 gift cards in there, too. So, there's all sorts of things. It's a lot of fun. Um, and if, you're, if you've had your eye on that item and you're like, oh, it's out of my budget Saturday's right now. Saturday's the day to come. Saturday's the day to come. Um, we do it twice a year. We do it. To, on Small Business Saturday because you want to shop small and we do it on Easter which we will be doing out of the hat no more eggs we had somebody ruin that for people remember when the, those women who kept opening oh, egg after egg, gosh, after egg after yeah. egg after egg no matter how much we asked them to stop so I know you guys have all heard this but to make it very plain and simple when one person ruins it it ruins it for everybody yeah. so we're going to still do our, our pick your own percentage it's just going to be done slightly differently um <laughs> What? Today has been crazy. What's Facebook and Instagram was popping. We just had a watcher from outside, and yep. we haven't had somebody come up to the door in a yep. very, in long, a very time. long time. Well, that's good. So, um, so there's all sorts of things. I had something to say. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. 
My mind is a whirl. Uh, anyway, so pick your own percentage day. We're open 10 to 7, so come in. Um, it's only on Saturday, so if you come in Friday or Sunday, it's our standard sale. Um, and so if you're looking for something big, come on in because it usually, you usually get it. Or at least you get a better percentage off. And all of our Christmas is out. I will be putting up two more trees, our mad tree and then one other tree. But we currently have 16 trees up in Jeez. here. We are transforming Time Warp into a Christmas winter wonderland. So, um, come in on Saturday, but come in any day. We will be closed on Thursday, uh, for Thanksgiving. So don't come in that day. And I have to tell you, I'm so excited because, um, Sunday and Monday, we have somebody coming in filming, uh, part of their movie here. I'm so excited about that. And, um, so that's, that's, that's I'm really excited about that, actually. So me, they're, they're filming scenes from their movie here. Me and Winifred can't wait. Winifred, I love it. So um, why don't you tell them? I want to see pics of the trees. Oh, don't worry. I'll do time warp trees like I normally do. I'm waiting for the last two to get set up. And then I will be taking pictures of all of them. Um, I had something else to tell you, too, and I forgot. Hmm. Anyways. Um... Don't forget to, uh, why don't you give us... <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and Twitter. Threads is kind of something that we're prioritizing right now, but TikTok we're still using. Yeah. But we just kind of fell off with that just because we there's did, so many because, things going on right now. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, but again, make sure that you mm -hmm. tune into our episode that was posted yesterday for Caffeinated Conversations. If you want And to tune speak. in this Monday. They are also going to be streaming it on our Time Warp page as well. Um... And uh, you may see me in the audience again. You never know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a lot of fun, fantastic things are happening. I'm honestly really excited because this show, we had a lot of interaction and we had somebody answer our question correctly, which is really, really good news. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love to see it. Make sure and those please comments keep coming. Tell us your tips, your um, hints, because we have a lot of customers who ask us questions and stuff like that. So we would be more than happy to, to pass on your yeah, literally. tips and hints on how you make your uh, Thanksgiving dinners successful and fun. And um, what does that say? The movie. No, I was talking about the movie. I know that. Um, we're going to be, yeah. Make sure you watch out for that clip of the movie, though. Oh, the movie will not be put out until after it's completely done. You might see some photographs of, of the filming, but... The move we you won't see any clips of that movie until it's released because they keep a tight, oh gosh oh, they keep see? a tight um rain on on that type of stuff trust me the more <laughs> I get into to doing the shows and stuff which I've been doing a lot they keep a tight rain on those oh guys. yeah for sure they don't want it at all to get out at all no so um next week we'll be talking um I'm not sure yet but I do have some tips and hints on some Christmas things. Is it a bad thing to use a tree skirt as a skirt? No, never. Is it a bad thing to use a tree skirt as a shawl? No, never. Is it a bad thing to use a shawl as a tree skirt? Never. Or how about a circle skirt as a tree dress? What they don't know won't hurt them. Exactly. And that's exactly what it is that we are going to talk about next week. The things you can use that people don't think. Oh, wow. Would you get that? Oh, but it's this. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyways, it'll be fun. So if you guys have any things that you use and not what it's meant for, please share it. Especially if I'll you got it from it. here. Yeah, that'd be cool. If you got it from here and you use it for something different, like what are those 60s ashtrays used for? What do we use cookie jars for? Because we don't make cookies and put them in them anymore. I use them for cat stuff. We don't smoke anymore, really. Nope. And if we do, it's not with cigarettes anymore. Literally. So, um, you know what we use our cookie jars for? What? We're seeds. Okay. Because we, we used to have a cookie car collection, a cookie jar collection, Steve and I, and then it got way too big. And cookie jars take up a lot of space. Space, yeah. And so we sold off a lot of them. But the ones we have left up top, I literally put receipts in them. So that way, I, if I, when I go to do our monthly thing, I can go up, pull them down. And this or if someone ever says that you didn't or it doesn't come with and you said, oh, well, I beg to differ. Exactly. And then it's always a fun thing when you forget you put something in a cookie jar and you open it and you're like, oh, there it is. Surprise. Surprise. And then, of course, from our house to yours. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, you guys. That was so cute. <laughs> and um, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. And 
We will see you next week. Bye. Happy Turkey Day.